Uh, in Inkster now, we're working on breaking news. Motel guests forced out into the cold by a fire. Nick Monticelli is there. Nick, did everyone make it out of there okay? Uh, Jason, everyone made it out okay, and everyone is now back inside of their rooms. For the past hour, we've been standing in this corner showing you everything going on here. They were focusing their time and attention on these two rooms, and now we know why. We can take a look back here. The fire department is cleared out of here, but the captain walked us back here and showed us what was going on and also showed us how challenging this was for them because they had to bring all of their hoses through here and squeeze into this area that's about six feet wide between the back of this motel and the back of the next one. And there is all of the damage. You can see it right up there. It is, believe it or not, minimal comparatively to other fires that have happened throughout time. But this certainly was scary for those in these two apart or these two motel rooms, starting in one and then coming out and spreading to the other one. I can show you some video. Many of the people were, of course, forced out during the fire. In fact, we saw or met a family with very young children waiting inside of the lobby for the all clear to happen. Now you'll see here some more video of the damage, and it was pretty interesting because the uh, captain here isn't really sure how something like this could have happened. He said that this is uh, in between two bathrooms. And when you've got that, you know that there really is no uh, electrical back there. They're just bathtubs. So he doesn't think this is an electrical fire starting on the inside and likely moving out, but they're not exactly sure what it could be yet. So that is something that the investigators will have to be determining later on today, if not later in sometime next week, because they are very busy with other fires and other power line issues that DTE continues to work on. As far as this fire goes, though, nobody was injured. Everybody got out. The smoke detectors went off and everyone, unfortunately, in these freezing temperatures, we're waiting outside, some with just pajamas. I saw one man without any shoes on. He ran out because he wasn't sure how long he had to get his belongings out. So it is certainly something scary as this fire was going on. Now, as you can see here coming back out live, the damage again, not that bad. This is something that certainly can be repaired and these rooms can be put back in order. They've got to replace a lot of the work in the bathroom. Obviously, a lot of the two by fours that work on the frames of these walls and then the exteriors of the uh, the building a lot of the aluminum siding all has to be put back together again but with all this damage with the windows that were um, forced out and busted out here on the ground again it doesn't look good but this is a minimal and the most important part jason and everod is that nobody was injured they just had to wait out in the cold for a couple of hours while the inkster fire department had to put this fire out we are live here in inkster nick monticelli local four news today